Naka holds their annual CNA Fest and 25th Key to Quality Awards, with Dorian approaching 60% of Florida nursing homes still don't have four days of backup power for air conditioning, and more than 25,000 potential long-term care workers deemed ineligible through Federal Background Check Program. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, September 4th, 2019. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Last week, the National Association of Healthcare Assistants held their annual event and for the second consecutive year, known as CNA Fest in Little Rock, Arkansas. Having heard from NACA's co-founders and chief operating officer, the event also had sessions in nursing home operations, nursing, active shooter preparation, and much more. The attendees from 22 states had an unprecedented number of first-timers, as well as individuals that had paid their own way to CNA Fest. After the event, NACA held their second annual red carpet for its 25th annual Key to Quality Awards. Both were live on the NACA and CNA TV Facebook pages, and recorded versions were added to the CNA TV YouTube channel library. In hurricane-prone Florida, a state mandate requires all nursing homes and assisted living facilities to have backup generators or power sources for air conditioning. But as strengthening Hurricane Dorian approaches landfall, nearly 60% of the state's nursing homes have not installed equipment in line with those new regulations, according to data maintained by the Agency for Healthcare Administration. Out of 687 nursing homes in the state, 400, about 58.2%, have been given more than an additional year by state officials to meet the requirements, though the original de deadline was the start of last year's hurricane season. About 90% of the state's 3,000-plus assisted living facilities, which are often smaller and have fewer beds, have said they have installed equipment that meets the new standards. The pattern trends statewide in South Florida from Palm Beach County to Monroe County. Only 59 of 164 nursing homes have implemented their generator plans, according to HCA records. The regulations put in place after a Hollywood nursing home lost power and air conditioning after Hurricane Irma hit in 2017 require nursing homes to have equipment that can maintain an ambient temperature at 81 degrees for 96 hours after an outage. Assisted living facilities have similar, more lenient standards for power and fuel storage. We'll be back right after this break. Mark my dad on the news. This is my daughter. Her name is Izzy Henning. She's two years old. Have a good day. Have a day. Healthcare's jobs growth rate stood at two. I'm looking forward to working with you to make This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week. Watch my dad on the news. <laughs>Long-term care providers in 11 states identified nearly 3% of ineligible job applicants through a national background check program in the past two years. The Office of Inspector General Health and Human Services recently assessed the participation of 11 states using the national background check program for long-term care providers in 2017 and 18. The program is designed to help providers identify job applicants who are ineligible to work in the industry due to state or federal criminal histories, such as healthcare fraud, or controlled substance abuse. The OIG found that just two states implemented all of the program requirements. A total of 971,039 total background checks were completed, with nearly 25,600 checks resulting in ineligible LTC job applicants. Michigan, Minnesota, Utah, and Kentucky had the greatest percentages of determinations of ineligibility. Michigan led with the highest number of checks at nearly 400,000. There was no, quote, evidence of unintended consequences associated with conducting background checks, such as reduction in the available workforce for long-term care facilities or providers, the report stated. 
The OIG recommended the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services encourage states to obtain necessary legislative authority to fully implement program requirements. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.